What's up guys and welcome to this week's episode of We Are The Bonsai Supply. I am Jerome and today we're going to work on one of my favorite trees in my personal collection. This is a green mount ficus that has been grown on top of a statue. So I guess this would be another uh, option of a root of a rock. Instead of a rock you just choose a statue. Now I call this tree the Angkor Wat because it reminds me of the uh, temples in Cambodia which are called Angkor Wats where the uh, trees grow out of all of the uh, temples and out of all of the statues and I thought that was really cool so I wanted to recreate something similar to that now if you take a closer look at this the statue is actually not a Buddha as it is in Angkor Wat it is actually a uh, Chinese uh, terracotta warrior and that's for a good reason because it is really difficult to find um, Buddhas this size that are made out of actual clay. So I actually found this statue on one of my trips when I was in China visiting the Terracotta uh, army in Xi'an. So this is actually an authentic statue that has been made out of the clay from that area where they actually dug up those statues in particular. So this tree is actually being featured in the Bonsai Focus magazine. So I really hope that you guys are subscribed to the magazine. If not yet, you definitely have to go ahead and subscribe to that magazine. It's a worldwide magazine. It comes in eight different languages. And the trees that you see in there are phenomenal. The Bonsai Focus magazine reached out to me and they asked me to write an article about this tree in particular. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a little YouTube video at the same time as well. So a couple things that we're gonna do here today. Uh, one of the things is we're going to remove all of these weeds. Um, the weeds are very common down here in Florida since it's so humid. Um, the weeds grow unbelievably fast. Um, so I'm going to have to de-weed all of this. I'm going to defoliate the entire tree. And I'm going to remove the uh, old wire and I'm going to rewire the entire tree. Um, now the reason why I'm going to defoliate it is because I want to have a tighter canopy. I want to have more branches and I also want to have, start to develop smaller leaves. So when you defoliate, it does a number of things. Number one, uh, when you defoliate, you get to see into the tree and you get to see the actual silhouette of the tree. So you get to see the overall shape which is very appealing and it is called a winter silhouette um, because the northern trees shed the leaves naturally. Down here we have to remove the leaves manually. However, so the second reason is, so the second reason why we defoliate is every time you defoliate, uh, it improves the uh, overall vigor of the tree. So the tree comes back stronger and stronger every time you defoliate. Now you, you can defoliate a ficus like this three to four times in the tropics um, without any problems and that's actually really good. So the third reason why you want to defoliate is every time you defoliate, it promotes more branch growth. So if I defoliate it again now, it's gonna bring back a lot more branches and it's also gonna bring back branches on the inside of the other branches. Um, and by defoliating, you can create a very nice canopy very quickly, especially in the tropics. Um, the reason number four why you would want to defoliate is because the leaves come back smaller every time. And I can also go ahead and cut the leaves in half However, when I do that, the leaves come back half the size. You don't want to shrink the leaves until all the branches are in place because when you start to shrink the leaves, it actually slows down the vigor of the uh, tree tremendously. So therefore, I'm just gonna go ahead and defoliate and defoliate to improve the overall strength of the tree. Once all the branches are set, I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the leaves in half and then those are gonna come back half the size. So another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, repot the tree because it is root bound. If you look at the back, the roots are starting to grow out already and the tree is starting to push itself out of the pot. So now I know it's a great time for me to go in and repot the tree and just clean it up overall. And I'm going to polish the pot at the end and then it's going to be ready for my photo shoot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this tree.
so this is it for now. Uh, we defoliated the tree, we repotted it, we cleaned up all the weeds that it had in here. Uh, we didn't really have to remove any uh, branches, any of the uh, wires, because none of them really cut into the branches just yet. So what we did here is we just wired the branches that came out from the last defoliation. I was able to wire them this time, and um, yeah, I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with the way it came out. And now the tree is ready for its photo shoot for the Bonsai Focus magazine. And if you guys have not subscribed to the Bonsai Focus magazine yet, I really encourage you to do so because the Bonsai magazine is really one of the greatest magazines out there. Uh, you see a lot of great, great artists that write articles in those magazines and um, even Japanese, European artists, American artists, really from all over the world. So I really do encourage you to sign up for that and um, I'll catch you guys next time.